Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. What made the church in Acts so unique? When you read the book of Acts and you see that the Spirit of God was poured out in chapter 2, what we see is a church that is just burgeoning in an exhilarated way. We see them in Acts 2, they're sharing fellowship with one another, they're praying together, they're sharing their belongings together. And when I read that chapter, I go, ah, oh. you know, I mean, this church is rapidly growing from 3,000 to 5,000 and people are being added daily. Well, what made that church so unique? Well, first of all, that church hadn't had time to get corrupted yet. And as the church begins to progress, what happens is, is it picks up pseudo believers, those who begin to get part of the fold that really don't believe. And then not only that, it picks up uh, false teachers. You see, false teaching uh, hadn't really uh, come into place yet. Uh, they were just formulating their teaching. So as the church evolved and went on, uh, you would begin to get false teachers and you got uh, false followers. And those two uh, contributing factors created a disillusioned church where when you look at the church, it looks messed up. We don't get a clear peak. Not only that, all you got to do is just kind of cruise over to the first Corinthians and see how quickly the church was messed up. People getting inebriated off of the Lord's Supper, uh, a guy sleeping with his mother-in-law, people abusing the spiritual gifts, the church incredibly divided. When you read Revelation chapter 2 and 3, you see these churches are a mess. And as long as humans are a part of the church, the church is going to be a mess. So what we have today as a problem is we have a tough time getting down to what is the wheat and separating the wheat from the chaff. The wheat has a hard enough time following Jesus, but when you get the chaff of false teaching and the chaff of pseudo believers, that even makes it more difficult to see the beauty of the original church we see there in Acts.